Okay, question four, we're do, still doing confidence intervals. Um, and notice that N is 12. So this is, less, we can't use a central limit theorem here. And let me go back to where we talked about that, just to clarify. Getting there. Okay. Um, okay. When n is less than 30, the central limit theorem cannot be applied, so we can't say the sampling distribution will approximately be normal. Okay. Um, so we can't say that here. So this is, a, we're going to assume in order to make a confidence interval that the population must be normally distributed. So what we're going to do now is do a confidence interval. We have a 90% confidence. So, um, if we change this here to make this 0.90, okay. What that means is, I'm going to highlight that. What that means is the tail is going to be 0 0.05 and 0 0.05 here. Because 10%, we have 90% that it is and 10% that it's not. And it's we have to divide that into two tails here. So we are looking for the Z value right here so we can calculate our confidence interval. So that's 0 0.05 plus 0.90. So we need to look up the Z score associated with a 0.95% probability or 0.95 or 95% probability. We're going to use Excel again. Remember how to do this? This problem wants you to use Excel. So we're going to round this to two decimal places. So our Z score is going to be 1.64. So um, our Z score is 1.64. Our margin of error is going to be the standard deviation divided by the square root of N. And the standard deviation here is uh, 25 and n is 12. So 25 divided by the square root of 12. And you're going to round um, the example rounded to two decimal places. So that's what we're going to do. 7.22. So now we're ready to do our confidence interval. And our sample mean is 80. So here is our formula. Okay, so we're going to do um, x bar plus or minus z times the standard error of the mean. So x bar we said was 80. We're going to do plus and minus z, which we said was 1.64 times 7.22. Remember this little part right here, if we were to calculate that, that would be our margin of error. Um, I'm just going to put it all in, 80 plus 1.64 times 7.22, and I get 91.04. 91 okay, and that is an acceptable answer. And then I'm going to do 80 minus 1.64 times 7.22, and I'm going to get 68.16, and that is an acceptable answer. So that is how you're going to work question four. You're not going to use a table on this one. You're going to use Excel to get your Z value. Let me know if you have any questions.